Before I start this video, I have to apologize for my absence last week. <clears throat> I'm sorry. As most of you guys know, my girlfriend and I moved into a new home and I have to admit, I fully underestimated the, the sheer amount of work it takes to move into a big house like that. Besides the fact that we're still not done unpacking and organizing everything, it's incredible how much knowledge you need to just work the house. Anyway, so we're still without Wi-Fi, but by the end of this week, I think everything should be set up and then we're back to our normal schedule Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. All right, let's get started. Money Monday. A lot has happened during the last two weeks. So let's recap real quick. In the first video, I said I want to day trade $10,000 up to $1 million. In the next week, I said I didn't trade at all because the market was very bearish and I'm not experienced enough to, you know, trade on a downtrend. And then last week we moved into the house, but I also managed to make a big move in the crypto market. As I said, I didn't day trade at all because day trading needs my full attention. So I can't just, you know, in between moving boxes, I can't just hop in to you know a coin buy that and hope for it to go up i want to analyze everything and i want to obey my rules that i mentioned in the first video so with that being said i didn't day trade but i made an investment for my long-term portfolio in my last video i mentioned that i i really want to buy some bitcoin and uh what can i say I pulled the trigger. I didn't buy Bitcoin at the low. I think it was like 44,000, something like that. But I got in below 50. To be very precise, I bought at $48,300. But why did you do that? Before I tell you why I did it, you need to know that I am not a financial advisor. This is not financial advice to you. This, These are just bets on the future. Um, and this video is just for entertainment purposes only number one there are currently 18.6 million bitcoin in circulation meaning those bitcoin have been mined this number sounds crazy but it in reality it's not if you think about it we're 7.6 billion people on this planet and there will only be 21 million bitcoins so by only owning one bitcoin you would be in the 0.27 percent in the world the seat just turned on i hope i can turn it off somewhere here Perfect. Well, okay, it sounds like the previous owners didn't like anybody to touch the thermostat, so they have a code on it, so I can't change it, and I, I cannot turn it off right now. This creates scarcity and therefore creates value for the Bitcoin itself. When you think about it, it's basically like a Bugatti or like a limited edition of anything. If, if there's only a limited edition, people want it, people pay a higher price for it. So number two, not all the 18.6 million Bitcoins are in circulation. But you just said these were mine, so why are they not in circulation? I have to say, I do not have an exact number, neither do I have information about how many Bitcoins were actually lost. And they were not really lost, but here's what I want to try to say. You've probably heard of people uh, complaining that they lost a computer with thousands of Bitcoins or a ledger just, you know, got destroyed or they lost their private keys. So those people do not have access to their Bitcoins anymore. Doesn't mean that the Bitcoins are gone. They are still on that device or, you know, the broken device or the wallet that nobody has access to. But that just means that those Bitcoins are basically frozen because nobody can trade them. So those Bitcoins are theoretically in circulation, but since nobody can trade them, you can technically take them out of the equation. According to different websites, the number of lost Bitcoins varies from two to five million Bitcoins. So that would, you know, bring us down to 13 to 16 million Bitcoins available right now. And this directly brings me to the next point. Bitcoin mining. When will we see the last Bitcoin to be mined? I will be long dead when the last Bitcoin will be mined. It sounds harsh, but it's reality. According to a bunch of Bitcoin mining websites, the last Bitcoin will be mined in 2140. That's 119 years. Well, in my opinion, it could be way sooner because every year, we are smart enough to create new, not myself, but like people are smart enough to create faster and stronger and better computers every single year. So I'm pretty sure they can, they can create better ant miners um, that mine Bitcoin faster. Even if we manage to mine the last Bitcoin in 2087, I'll be 100 years old and I don't think I'll, I'll care at that point. The next reason why I, I went long on Bitcoin is a lot of companies are starting to buy more Bitcoin. We all know, and it's not breaking news, Tesla bought 1.5 billion 
dollars worth of Bitcoin. We don't know exactly um, at what price, but if we just say it's $40,000, I just made this number up. But if they bought it $40,000, that would mean they're holding 37,500 Bitcoins. And this is just one example. And we're not talking about, you know, buying one or two Bitcoins to have skin in the game. Those companies buy millions, billions of dollars worth of Bitcoin. So if those companies were like, I want it now, and they have $1.5 billion, guess what happens to the price? Within the next three to five years, I truly believe that more companies will buy into Bitcoin. And when they do with a lot of money, then the supply will be so small and the demand will be that big that the price has to go to the moon. I hate that. And my next point, Bitcoin as a payment method. A lot of companies offer Bitcoin as a payment method. And this is all like, this is all news to me because I didn't look into it before last week. A lot of companies allow Bitcoin as a payment method. Whole Foods, uh, Starbucks, Microsoft, big companies actually already implemented Bitcoin as a payment method. This is a game changer for me personally, because now that more companies accept Bitcoin as a payment method, I believe that more retail investors are gonna be like, okay, I think now that big companies allow that, it must be good, it must be okay, and then they wanna buy in as well. Yeah, those are my reasons why I went long on uh, Bitcoin. And as I mentioned in the last video, I thought it was a, a great discount on Bitcoin at that point. But yeah, one more thing. Uh, in the last video, I also talked about how I store my, my Bitcoin and this, it hasn't changed, but I looked into something. So if you are holding Bitcoin, here's what I would do. In my previous video, I mentioned Nexo to be the wallet that I trust, um, where I store my cryptocurrency, the long-term portfolio to, you know, just get dividends while holding, holding, hold, holding, holding, holding. So they recently changed the interest rates from 5% down to 4%, which made me think, Let's just look into other companies. A lot of YouTubers talk about BlockFi, so I looked into those rates and here's what I found out. If you own less than 2.5 Bitcoins, they pay you 6% interest rate on the 2.5 Bitcoins. But if you own more than 2.5, the interest rate reduces to 3%. So Nexo pays 1% more. So for me, since I own more than 2.5 Bitcoins, I still stay in Nexo um, and get my 4% and I'm good to go. But I also compared the USDT, the stable coin tether uh, rates because I hold my day trading you know, money in USDT because I always buy and sell immediately. So I never hold a coin. So here's what I found out. BlockFi pays you 9.3% on your tether, whereas Nexo pays you 8%. Unless you wanna let them pay you out in their Nexo token, which then increases the rate to 10%. This is what I have been doing so far because I just wanted to hold some Nexo as well. But again, on $19,000, it's not a lot of money that I accumulate over like, you know, two or three weeks. But still, it's it's better than nothing. So I'll just let you know, let them pay me out in Nexo tokens, get that, and as soon as I'm ready to day trade again, I'll bring it back into my Binance account and then start day trading. Thank you so much for watching. I cannot wait to see you guys next week on Money Monday again, hopefully with a bunch of day trades in my pocket. Since you took the time to watch this video till the end, you can access some of my paid courses for free today. You just need to look for the link in the description that says free private access. Once you click on that link, you will see an access web page. All you need to do to gain free access to the private membership club is type in 7, 6, 5, 4. You can then join my internet marketing membership club for free. I also listed some other very useful information below. Thanks for taking the time to watch this video and don't forget to like and click the notification bell to get updates. Okay, until next time, take care.